Hello YouTube fans, here again, and why not talk about this one, X Rated, shock horror, X Rated, I remember talking a bit about X Rated, meaning X Rated movies and so on before, there's a way you could do it on YouTube, as long as you're not talking about the details and what's going on in the film, bit by bit, if you, as long as you're not talking about what the star does, which we all know what they do anyway, but as long as you don't put it in traffic detail, you can get away with it, so I'm going to get away with it. Tracy Lloyd. That's right, Tracy Lloyd. Anyone to know about Tracy Lloyd? Let me give you a biography about Tracy Lloyd. She's been on every YouTube and everything, right? But there's a lot of history about Tracy Lloyd. <coughs> okay, so let's move on. In the 80s, there was, I just said it, a well known porn star because getting into the business called Tracy Lloyd. And the first big break was a an adult film called The Lung, like it or hot. I'm not going to get it. The story's cheesy, you know, it's 80s porn, 1970s, where you had classics like Debbie Dust Dyers, Behind the Teen Door, The List Goes On, The List Goes On, whether it's Devil in Miss Jones, and whatever. I'm laughing just on the cycle there. Um, you know, the story's cheesy, it's a girl coming of age, it's with her mates, bonking, an excuse for bonking, more bonking, bonking on the way, bonking, it's porn, what, what else is going to get? Then she did a lot of other ones, it'd be Bickerball, G-Spot, what came out in 85, and so on, you know, she did a lot of these adult movies. No, she did one go New Ray Hookers. New Laser Girl. I remember the song of that. Really 80s. Proper 80s. Fast. I remember the song. New Laser Girl. The hat you ever be. New Ray Hookers. I'm not going to do the rest. But again, Bonky, Ram Bang, Thank You Man, and so on. But during the 80s, she was high tender. She was high tandy, all the long lads say in and over, wanted to be a boyfriend. She was hot, so hot on all your adult magazines. She was hot, hot, that's word that fence, huh? Hot on the porn site, and so on. You know, she started with other adult stars, whether it be Ginger Lane, and so on. Now, she started with that a lot of these adult films. But I think, right, it could be right, it could be one. She's about under porn and traffic movies. Now this is the bit where Tracy Lloyd made history. She was under AIDS. That's right. Anyone knows Tracy Lloyd and knows the story of Tracy Lloyd when she first started in the adult business. <coughs> she was under AIDS. She was 15. And we all know in the adult business, I could be right, I could be wrong. In the UK, I think you're 18 and over. And I think in America, you've got to be 21 and over to be having in soft or hard corn, right? She was obviously in hard corn. I don't know, though, probably in the 80s it was different, right? She had, um, I think, was a foster father. She had a fake ID. She had a fake passport. She went for the interview to star in these adult films. And I chose, when a girl has loads of makeup on, eyeliner, lipstick, down the face with fucking makeup. It's the 80s, hair bone back, looking slutty looking. You can actually look older than what you are. And she got away with it. So she did roughly about 100 adult films. And then eventually people just stuffed the passport, the ID. All this was fake. Good fakes, but fakes nevertheless. What could they do? What could they do? Because by the time they discovered that she was an illegal age for doing adult films, a little too late. She was then past the legal age of being 18 and over. Not a lot they could fucking do. So all they did was they went and they banned, they took off, they went through every video store, every adult video store, and they took all the early stuff away. Whether it be T-Spot, whether it be Bickerball, whether it be The Lung Like It Hot, so on. They took all the early stuff off. And they were so laughable. They were so laughable. <coughs> so basically, I've got a bit of a lump in my throat. You know what's so laughable about choking? You can still access it. 
back then, back in the days of video, they got it just like the days of video, nasty. But it didn't really do a fuck all. All they could do is remove her early stuff and she was still legal age. That is, she was, she was 15. And the funny thing is, you can still access her early stuff. I could go on any adult site now, type in Tins Elaine, probably see a first adult film, see any other adult films when she was the only legal age, and watch some. Some in Chinese subs, some where she's speaking English, some where she's dubbed, because it's the only way you can get to see that film. Some on a shitty VHS rip, you can see it's taken another video, very rare, but it's the only way you can see it in its tap. <coughs> but you can still access it. That's what I'm getting at. You can still access Tracy Lloyd from her early stuff. By then, she decided she wasn't doing any more adult films. She write, she written a few books about herself, did a biography about herself. And then she went in the movie business. I'm not going to talk about the films. <laughs> I'll say she sort of stuck to porn. Because the movie stuff is just B-movies. B-movies. She's nice to look at. She's eye-trander. I can, I can get away with saying that now because she's illegal age when she started doing all those films. She was about almost in her twenties. Granted, I'm a lot older. I'm a red-blooded male. But, you know, she's still the legal age. Before I get battered. Before I get bruns. Before somebody beats me up. Before I get locked away. She's a legal age, people. Yes, I'm a red-blooded, dirty man. But I'm a red-blooded male. I'm just saying, she look fit, right? She look good-looking. She's safe to say that before people take offence. Um, so, you know, nice to look at. But at the end of the day, the film career wasn't that date. There's a few films, all B-movies. She had a big break, 1998, with the film Braid. Remember the film Braid with Leslie Snipes, you know, vampire killer? She, she paid, if I remember rightly, she paid a vampire chick. Well, for that era, I think she was almost pushing 30, so I can get away with saying she looks fit now. And um, so on, and she made it big though, you know, she still made grossing money, whether it be, you know, the days of her adult magazines, the days of her films, and the days of so on. And they in a book biographies. I can go on all day about Tracy Lloyd. She knows it was a pin up of the early eighties. <coughs> and she was. But a lot of history, like I say, she was underage and it was distuffered. People said it's child pornography. One way I'm I'm a bit finger with that. Fifteen, yeah, she's a minor. But before people think I'm sick and fucked up, Sam Fox. Say it again, Sam Fox. You know, Samantha Fox, ex Page Feeder, ex Singer, blah blah blah. She was 16 when she started to get her tits out. Not being dirty minded, I'm just saying that's how old she was. She was sweet 16. So not a lot long left stool. And um, you're allowed at a certain age, either 16 or 15. Funny enough, 16, I think, we're right, we one, you're old enough to do Page Feed. But you're not old enough to do porn. But the thing is, 15 or 16, you're old enough to have intercourse. But you're, that's why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing because I'm fucked up. I'm laughing because you're old enough to do that, but you're not old enough to do porn. So you figure that one out, people. You're old enough to have intercourse when you reach a certain age, whether it's 15 or 16. You're old enough at 16 to do page three. 16, you're old enough to smoke. As soon as you reach 18, you're old enough to drink. America, you're 21, you're old enough to drink. How I want it is that. But yeah, 15, yeah, I can understand. She was probably still a stooler and she was doing ad corn porn. Yes, I've seen some of the material out of a novel tear. Out of a novel tear, more people think I'm fucked up. But with Tracy Lloyd, it was a bit of history. Everyone who knows, knows Tracy Lloyd and know her from being in the adult business. And a lot of porn stars, when they did stuff when she was underage, couldn't believe that this is a long term, longer than what she was. You mean, you look at her, like I say, I'm not justifying what she did, but if you look at her, back in that era, all that makeup, and I'll repeat that, eyeliner, all this makeup to make her look older, she would fool you. You think, oh, she's 18, oh, she's in the 20s, 
she's got a bit of a baby face. She looks a bit of slutter. Oh, yeah, yay. But you wouldn't have known. You wipe all that makeup off, slip her hair down, not blow back. You probably see that she wasn't the age she said she was, but she made millions. She became famous in her own little right. A lot of porn stars, like I said, like even Ginger Lane, who starred for in a couple of adult films, couldn't even believe herself that this was a girl who was still lead the way to being in adult films. Nowadays, the adult business is a lot stricter, happy to say. <coughs> They're a lot more stricter. They definitely check now and they double check. They make sure your ID, your passport, anything to prove who you are, you are that legal age. I'm not so now. I think it's years gone on. I could be right, I could be wrong. But in America, I could be right, I could be wrong. I think it's 21 and over to be in porn. Whether it's soft, whether it's hard corn, blah, blah, blah. But it's just a bit of history. If anyone knows Tracy Lloyd, you know who I'm on about. I do know originally that was not a name. She used it from a well-known actress. And she justified herself in a lot of these adult films. And that's a bit of story, a bit of history of the well-known porn star. Tracy Lloyd. Into them. Be smart. Be safe. See you later.